Ridge capping. Fold the universal foam bung into a semicircle, ensuring the ends are tucked towards the center. Place into the void on the boss end so that the outer face rests against the end of the glazing bars. Using the silicone provided, run a continuous bead around the joint between the foam bung and the glazing bar top caps. Fitting the ridge cover. When fitting the ridge cover, first slot the holding down bolts into the groove on the underneath of the external ridge capping. Then attach the boss end foam trim around the perimeter of the underside of the boss end cover. Remove the adhesive tape and press firmly onto the underside of the capping. Slide the finial fully onto the ridge capping as far as it'll go. Slide the pieces of cresting into the open-ended channel of the external ridge cover. The last piece of cresting may have to be trimmed. See your installation guide for instructions. Lift the ridge capping assembly onto the top of the ridge assembly and push down so that it locates on the prongs of the ridge center. Slide the rectangular washer up the holding down bolts until it touches the ridge wings and finger tighten the nylon nut onto the holding down bolts to make the external ridge capping secure. Primary seal to host wall. Self-adhesive flashing tape is included in your conservatory kit. The tape is provided as a means of temporarily sealing the conservatory from water ingress. Cut the flashing tape and apply the flashing tape to the host wall. The flashing tape should run down three courses of brick and run into the drainage channel. Although the flashing tape, if applied in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions, can function for many years, it's not a long-term substitute for traditional lead flashing. We would recommend that you employ an experienced builder to carry out lead flashing works during the construction of your conservatory or at some time in the near future. Roof Glazing Installation If your glazing material is polycarbonate, it's important to note that the surface, which is protected by the printed polythene film, is the surface that is on the outside of the conservatory. Each roof glazing sheet is labelled with the corresponding number on your roof plan. Please note that if your conservatory roof has glass roof glazing sheets, some may require jointing with muntin bars. See the muntin bars section for instructions on how to install as well as the back of the installation guide.